What is up guys, it's me Edder back at it with another video. Today's video is gonna be a really cool one just because I got this really cool addition to the car. It is the Vibrelli bike rack hitch. Um, yeah, this thing has been really neat. I've had it for a couple of months now and I just kinda of wanna showcase what are my thoughts on this uh, hitch and if you should get it or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install this thing. So what's the purpose of having a hitch like this installed on the car? Well, again, it's just to make my life a lot easier when traveling with these two e-bikes, but also just having the versatility of a hitch on the car is a big plus as well. So you're probably wondering, why not just put the bikes inside the car? Well, I have, and again, these are e-bikes, so it makes my life a lot harder when it comes to having to shove them around inside the car, wiggling them, and it just makes my life a lot harder just because they're pretty heavy as well. They're not light bikes. So why not just install a standard roof rack bike mount on top of the car? Yes, I have thought about that. And these are heavy bikes. These are e-bikes. So it makes lifting these bikes up constantly a pain in the ass. And also my back would give out on me if I were to do this constantly over and over and over again. Also, if I were to hit a bump or just something on the road, with the bikes on here. I feel like with all the weight on top of the car, with the bikes, it probably cracked the top of the glass. And let's just say I wouldn't be a happy camper just because that's one expensive bill that I would have to pay. And that's not good. Okay. So those are the two main reasons why I got the Vibrelli bike hitch, just to make my life a lot easier. Again, when transporting these two bikes around the city, or when going on trails. I roughly purchased this uh, Vibrelli bike mount for about $280 about three to four months ago. So it's been working really well, again, especially here in the state of Colorado. I haven't really used this uh, bike rack at all during the rain or heavy snow, just cause I don't wanna carry my bikes during those conditions. So if I do, I'll definitely make a update video on it. But yeah, about $280 is what the rack costs and it's definitely been a big plus. So enough talking, I'm gonna show you some B-roll of me installing the bikes on the hitch about a week ago. So let's get to it. Cool, so that is the installation of the bike mount. As you saw throughout the video, very easy to install, not that hard. So I'm gonna show you guys some clips of me driving around with the bikes on there and just to see how the rack performs. I do have the GoPro up here, so hopefully it does not fall off the back of the car and if it does, oh well. We'll see if we can recover it somewhere on the road. But yeah, again, enough talking and let's show you some clips of the rack performing on the road.
are officially live from inside the car on the highway and hopefully you can see how the rack is performing from the GoPro angle and just seeing how it holds up. Uh, we're currently driving at about 50 miles an hour, 53, uh, in the right lane, middle lane, however so. Uh, we're cruising right now and it's going really well. I do like to have my camera on while driving just to give it an extra layer of security just to see how the rack is performing. Um, yeah, uh, something that's pretty funny as well. While you do have the rack on, you are gonna get the sensors going off here. Uh, it kind of looks like whiskers <laughs> or like some wings on the back of the car. Uh, that's our current drive as well. That's just kind of like how uh, consumption is going so far. It's not really a long drive. We've only been driving for about nine miles, but that's also what our power consumption is. So highway, is doing very good. Um, rack is performing very good on the highway at about 50 miles. I think I've gone maybe like 60, 65 tops. And again, the rack has been performing pretty well. And autopilot does work as well. Um, I don't really like being on autopilot while I do have the bikes on here just because of phantom braking and whatnot. But as you can see, it will switch it over to wide angle. Um, yeah. We're performing pretty well, autopilot is good. We do have a merge coming up, so I'm just gonna jump off of that. And yeah, the car is performing well on the highway, no issues at all, which is a plus with the Vibrelli bike rack. So let's go ahead and pull over at a lot so that way we can speak on some features on what this bike rack has that I really find unique. So this is what I would have to do. I would probably have to get this close. And then here too. We should be able to plug in. And then we'll plug in. But we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna go to the one down over there. But yeah, works pretty good. Nailed it pretty spot on. It's very close. So you just kind of want to make sure, I guess, you know, this part here doesn't touch this part of the curb. But yeah, pretty good. This is a pull through that I would ideally need to charge at. I just got done charging. But I have enough to pull up. So in the previous clip, I mentioned that I'd go park at a lot, but unfortunately I was not able to locate one to park at. No worries, I figured I'd just come back to the rooftop of the garage and we can continue the video from here. So before we get to speaking on the Vibrelli bike rack, I did just wanna give a big shout out over to the folks at Daily Lab for sending this over to me. This is a air freshener that is pretty awesome. Um, I'm not really one to buy air fresheners, but when they hit me up to just try this out, pretty much just to showcase them on the channel, I said, why the hell not? Let me go ahead and get a awesome air freshener that looks pretty sleek looking and definitely fits the vibe of the car. Something that's really cool about the air freshener is that they do last about 60 days. Now it really just depends on the conditions where you're at. You can definitely get more out of it, but here in Colorado, it's starting to get warm, so I'm definitely thinking that I'll get 60 days or so of freshness in the car. One of the cool features of the air freshener is that when you officially run out of any scents, you can go ahead and swipe this up. It is magnetic. Pop out the freshener, or if you're completely out, just pop it back in, and then it just slides back in, and it's magnetic as well. So it's on there really good. And especially when you're doing your zero to 60s in the car, this thing does hold up pretty well. Uh, just to give you an idea of how it fits in the car, it's not your typical air freshener where you just hang it on there and it just starts going back and forth swaying. This actually fits snug where your AC is at. So just to give you an idea, what you'll have to do is just slide it to the left, keep it nice and snug. And whenever you're doing your zero to 60s, you don't have to worry about it uh, flying right out as it is pretty snug in here. And it's not gonna wanna, it's not gonna wanna move. As you can see, tapping it, moving it, and it's pretty snug as well. And I typically keep it on the 
uh, passenger side, so I'm going to remove it. Swipe to the right. This is how it looks like as well. So all you do is just kind of place it uh, in the vents as well. So here we go. I'm just going to place it right here. And then I'm just going to swipe to the right. If I could do this. There we go. And as you can see, it's nice and snug as well. So you don't have to worry about it again flying right out whenever you're doing your zero to 60s, turning on the highway or anything like that. So big plus, thank you to Daily Lab for sending that over to me. The folks over at Daily Lab did send over a couple of goodies uh, to give away. So I am going to give away a fragrance card. I accidentally opened this because I thought it was uh, some fragrance uh, scents in here, but it's just some cards so that way you folks can try it out. Whatever scent you like, you can go ahead and purchase it. And I'm also going to give away um, some scent cards as well. Just go ahead and purchase one of the uh, Daily Lab air fresheners, and then you can go ahead and put one of these inside of it. You can get a discount code as well if you type NNZ Editor at checkout, and then you can get 15% off when it comes to purchasing your air freshener. So big thanks again over to the people at Daily Lab for sending the air freshener over to us. I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winner a week after this video is published via my Instagram. So go ahead and give that a follow so that way you'll get notified whenever the winner is announced. So that's that. Now let's go ahead and speak on the Vibrelli bike rack. So one of the really cool features of the Vibrelli bike rack is the quick release. It makes things easier when it comes to loading and unloading the bikes. So you do have this little kick plate here. Just pretty much kick that down. And then you're able to tilt the bikes down to either lift them out to make it easier or when it comes to closing the trunk you are able to close it with ease as well. And just to lift it back up, now that the trunk is closed, same thing, and it's locked in place. And if you wanna tilt it uh, towards the car as well, you can do that. Just be careful with the handlebars, kick that down, and then you're able to uh, tilt it up. You actually can tilt it more, but since I have the bike, it's gonna like hit the back of the trunk but you get the idea. So it is a really cool feature that you are able to tilt this up and down just to make your life a little easier. So with the Vibrelli bike rack, you also do get additional locks on here. What I mean by that is that whenever you do have the car parked somewhere, you do have the ability to have the bikes secured. So what I mean by that is you are gonna have these little pads right here and I'll throw some B-roll on here. Uh, these little pads, they fold out and then you're able to use this key to lock it just to keep this, uh, this little handle more secure, but also not to just have the bike stolen. You also do have an included cable lock as well. I don't have it attached on here, but to give you an idea, they do include this uh, bike lock cable just to add an extra layer of security when it comes to leaving the bikes on here as well. So as I mentioned with the padlocks, you also do have this foam, uh, foam arch around the bike that does help it to keep it secure, but also it doesn't really scratch the bike at all just because of the foam on here. And as you can see with, uh, with my bike up here a little bit better, um, it wraps around the bar pretty well and it is foamy. So just to keep it from rattling and absorbing the shock as well, as well as to keep it from not getting scratched. So that's one of the really cool features that I really do like about the Vibrelli rack. It does have this foam pad on here. So one thing again that I really, really do love about the bike rack is the cradle on this rack. So it's a universal cradle. Um, as you can see, I do have a fat tire bike, but I also do have my other bike, which is like a street tire. Um, let's see if I can get a better angle on here. So in this uh, cradle, you do have another indent in here to fit this thin tire. So it fits nice and snug, but if you also do have a fat tire here, you do have a bigger cradle to fit this fat tire. And again, if you do have a thinner tire bike, 
you do have a little indent right here where it can kind of fit a bit more snug. So definitely a big plus with this rack, just having a more versatility when it comes to transporting different types of bikes. So a really cool feature about the Vibrelli bike rack is the anti-wobble feature. So the more you twist this, there's like a little uh, expansion on the inside over here where it expands to keep it from wobbling less. Now I do keep this locked. So just to give an idea, like that. So now this can just spin continuously and I don't have to worry about it becoming, un, uh, I guess, unloose <laughs> or becoming loose as this is just kind of locked. And as you can see, I've kind of hit uh, some, some of the ground at times. So this is very, very important. If you do get this rack, just make sure to keep this locked. So that way, if for some reason it's unlocked, um, you don't have to worry about it becoming loose because this can just spin continuously you don't have to worry about your anti-wobble uh, becoming wobbly in a way. So yeah, carrying capacity on the bike rack, we're looking at about a max of 130 pounds. And the way that I get around by that is by removing the battery on this bike, but leaving it on this specific bike. It is just because it works a little bit weird with the batteries on these bikes, but we're looking at about a total of 100, maybe 115 pounds max for these two bikes when it's loaded. And yeah, just make sure to be on the lookout. Don't You don't wanna pass the 130 pound limit because I don't know what happens and I don't wanna know what happens. So that does it for the Vibrelli bike rack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a relatively quick and short one, but honestly, for what this bike rack has to offer, it's honestly a steal for the price. Again, we're looking at about 280 at the time of purchase, but you could probably get some really good deals if you order it through Amazon or other websites like that. Again, materials on this bike rack is pretty, pretty great, honestly. It's held up for the past three to four months without any issues. My bikes have not fallen from the rack, which is great. and. Yeah, it's been nothing but awesome. And I really have enjoyed the rack. It's been one of the better investments that I've done to the car, especially adding a hitch. It just gives it a little bit more versatility uh, when it comes to just carrying things uh, inside the car or just anything like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen my previous video as well, definitely go check that out. I'll throw it somewhere over here. It was my trip from Colorado to Florida. Definitely let me know what you guys think on that as well. And as always, guys, please go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.